okay, Sugar and Spice are with us on This Is Purdue. First off, we have to go over the nicknames. You have to give us the background and introduce yourselves to our listeners. Sure, I'm um, Almira Ileana, uh, AKA Sugar, and I'm Giovanna Crozel, AKA Spice. So uh, the background on the nicknames is our grandfather nicknamed us Sugar and Spice. And because we're identical twins, um, it just was appropriate. And we're Filipino, and if you know any Filipinos, all of us have nicknames. nicknames. So I think we even have nicknames for our for nicknames. nicknames. <laughs> yes. So only yes. our closest friends know our nicknames for our nicknames. But yeah. uh, Sugar and Spice have stuck. Yeah, um, even at Purdue, all our professors knew us as Sugar and Spice. Um, even now, mm-hmm. pretty much everybody knows us as Sugar and Spice. At work, they knew me as Geo, but they know Sugar. Yep. So I joke that only um, strangers and coworkers call me Almira. <laughs> so it's just it's it's uh, people can't remember or pronounce our names sometimes. So it's just easier to go by sugar and yeah. spice. So they definitely can't spell them. So. <laughs> sure. Well, that's I mean that's how I knew of you guys was uh, sugar and spice. I never knew your true names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've done our job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's take it back. Tell us a little bit about your childhood and when your earliest memory of Purdue University was. Sure. Uh, Childhood? So we were born actually in the Philippines. Okay. Um, So we moved here to the States when we were 11. I grew up in Cincinnati, uh, middle school and high school. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, so we first heard of Purdue from our chemistry teacher in high school, Mr. Norman. And he kept plugging Purdue because, you know, we're in Cincinnati, Ohio. It's big Ohio State sure. kind of school and a feeder school. And so he suggested, because we, you know, we were AP students, very interested in science, engineering, math. He's like, you have to, you have to take to look at, uh, look at Purdue. Purdue. So we, my earliest memory of Purdue, we weren't even students yet. We were doing a, a student visit, and we were in the engineering mall, and we hadn't told anybody we were gonna be there. Our parents were there, and suddenly we hear off in the distance, sugar and spice. <laughs> and I was like, God? <laughs> and, and it was it was one of our friends who's older who was doing a summer uh, class at oh. Purdue. And he stopped what he was doing, gave us a private tour, and so that's our actual <laughs> earliest memory of Purdue. So when and how did you decide that Purdue is the place for both of you? Gosh, I think it was the moment we, yeah, a lot of people have that same experience, the moment we stepped on campus and we saw the engineering mall. And it felt like home, it felt like it made sense, everything was symmetrical. (laughs) I love red brick, so I (laughs) fell in love. Uh, We had done other um, college visits uh, across the, the United yeah, States. But the feel was not the same. Okay. Um, and so, and I think we want, definitely wanted to stay together. Mm-hmm. Um, we definitely knew what we wanted to study, which was engineering and specifically chemical engineering. And, you know, we we're like, if Purdue will take us, we'll go. Yes. So growing up, was there any competition between you two? You know, you both go into chemical engineering. Yeah, that's interesting because, you know, when in the Philippines when we were growing up, we didn't really know each other. I don't even think we were friends. You know, she yeah. had her Because they put us in two different <laughs> homerooms. Yeah. So oh, we didn't okay. really cool. see didn't really each, know each other. other. And then in, in the States, uh, at Indian Hills specifically at sixth grade, is when I think we became the pair that we are and yeah. they put early, us in the same home yeah home in the room, same home room. room and early on i don't know if you watch hannah barbera the wonder twins okay we kind of were like well we got to activate the wonder twin powers <laughs> might as well you, know? you guys are like already finishing each other's yeah. sentences i'm like oh boy we're in yes. for a treat yeah and, and their power was you know they change into two different complementary things liquids L- and, you know and, and an animal I to think. solve a problem which okay. is basically what engineering is or you know yeah. get out of a situation or save the day and so i think yeah that's that's more of why not versus compete yeah. actually help and, and, each other. And it was more about collaboration and if one of us was struggling in one area, we would help each other and vice versa because yeah. it didn't make any sense to us if yeah. if either one of us was um, not doing at the same better level, right? because we wanted both of us to shine and right. not, you know. Yeah, and I think our parents were very so, yeah, conducive of that too. They didn't, it was not a, an environment of competition necessarily with each other. 
So okay. Yeah. So walk us through your Purdue experience. Do you have a favorite story? A favorite memory? Um, you know, I, I so I met my now husband the second day of classes in Math 165. His name's Ken. Ken Crozel. And my memory of it was we were, I got in early and I sat in this, like, I think the second row. And he comes in five minutes late and sits in the, in the seat next to me. And before he sits, he sits down, I say, I look up at him and say, the seat's broken. And he looks up, he looks down at me with that face like, uh, I'm still going to sit there. And finds out, you know, sits down, finds out he, uh, I was like, I was looking out for you. It really really was. It really is broken. (laughs) He thought that I didn't want him to sit next to me. And, um, you know, through, we became math buddies and literally we've been best friends ever since. So that's, that's a memory I keep with me. And and that's where he actually proposed. Oh, um, inside the math building. In the math building (laughs) right before a class was going to start. He didn't even know. So that's a good memory for me. Oh, that's special. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, we, we have a lot of great memories from Purdue, but I think one of the funniest memories we I remember is when, um, so in chemical engineering, your senior year, there's not many um, students. It's about 100 or so, maybe less. And in, at the end of the year, we do like a RAS banquet, which is kind of like a roast. So the professors roast oh, students. the students and the students roast the uh the teacher the professors and we kind of like do skits and things like oh that oh my god so the professors did a skit about us <laughs> and it was so, it was so on so spot on because they were like, like we're not sure what we're doing here but we're pretty happy being here <laughs> and we're like yep that's us <laughs> and you're you said your professors would literally call you sugar and spice yeah, yeah. on exams on exams sugar on, and spice, um, on, on our, our homework, homework. <laughs> sugar, sugar and spice, spice. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible so you guys are so involved in the Purdue community. What, you know, why stay involved? Why do you have this affinity and this love for Purdue? Yeah. Well, so, you know, Purdue um, really kind of changed our lives. So they, we were on scholarship. We basically fully funded our, mm-hmm. our education. So they gave us scholarships. Yep. We were in co-op. We did work, we work study, study, you know, and um get obtaining this and earning this education and degree was not easy by any means and um we wanted to give back like so for any student who wanted to come to this um college and to this university we want to help so you know when we learned that um the alumni association did scholarships and the clubs um in chicago where we live we you know we had to do something so that's what we we did what does it mean to you to 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 be giving back and you know always involved in in everything you know it's almost seeing a little bit of ourselves in the students and i think that's the empathy that we have and the passion that we have for purdue we want people to feel that and the pride and so i I think that's that is what keeps us at least that's what uh, keeps me going in seeing the students and it just it's almost like it keeps us young you know yeah it's like a family mm-hmm. so like yeah. we you know our uh, northern club awarded mm-hmm. this this oh yes. a book scholarship to this one um chemical Adams. engineering student alex, her name's adams. alex adams and so we met her at 18 and we've kept in contact with her until she graduated and even until now mm-hmm. and we hang out with you know she yeah. moved to chicago she's the first out. birthday card this month actually <laughs> yeah, exactly. she's had a birthday card <laughs> oh, yeah. and and you know to see her progression you know through student life yeah we we're so proud of through, her. um yeah through her career sure. you know it's just it's it's amazing. It yeah. gives back tenfold. Yeah. Really. And we have fun. We actually do hang out. I could <laughs> never imagine that. <laughs> so what, what is a favorite event or, you know, memory that you have from all of your different volunteering and, and networking that you do through Purdue? Um, one of the things that we did at the Northern Club is uh, we had an um, event at a book fair where you could actually donate books and then we put books together so that they could actually um, donate it to families that needed it and we actually did as an event and families were open to it and we had about i think 25 people and half of them were kids so it was really cool to see these kids 
looking through the books, actually sorting them, saying, hey, I have actually read this book. That, I, I remember that was neat, and we actually posted it on our Facebook page um, for the Northern Club, and we want to do that again. So that was a fun, fun one. I think the second one was goat yoga, which we just did. I think last. Yeah, I'm trying to do bunny yeah. yoga. <laughs> so we'll see. between kids and, and bunnies and goats, that's what, we, <laughs> that's what I remember. So That's amazing. <laughs> so you both have really successful careers. You live in Chicago. How did Purdue tee you up for, the, for all of this success? You know, ha- as Sugar said, having a Purdue degree, you earn it. And so the expectation is very high. It's very uh, high with us. Um, you know, having that on your resume is one thing, living it is a whole nother. I think the expectation is very high. So when people actually interview us or I interview people for my team, when I do see Purdue, I'm like, okay, great, this is going to be a great interview <laughs> because I can actually drill <laughs> into some <laughs> questions. Um, you know, and it, it really has like the mentorship, the championship, mm-hmm. the just even friendships sure. and the relationships that we have across. The network is vast, large, and endless. And so take, take advantage, advantage of, of those it. relationships. So I think that is the what I take away. Even, you know, again, work, play, wellness, um, and even just to, you know, I, I love looking at all the Instagrams. Like some of these memes are hilarious. <laughs> so um, or the bobblehead produced. So it's something to talk about. <laughs> when you do even go into an interview and you have a fellow Purdue person or another Big Ten. So sometimes my meetings actually start with a whole at least like three minutes on what happened at the game with, you know, someone I know um, uh, I worked with was at Penn State, All-American, and another one was another twin, but he went to Minnesota. And we literally would just talk sports for a couple minutes. (laughs) And then we'd go on with the meeting. Sure. But as far as career, you know, Purdue prepares you to you know be who you are right yeah um how to live your life away because it's kind of just yours you know Mm -hmm. it's not your parents it's not anyone else's and so when you go out into the the real world you kind of have that grounding of a purdue education of a purdue background and experiences and your purdue family and friends because whether you know you know it or not you do have it you just have to um, exercise it. Unlock it, unleash it kind of yeah. thing. So what is this community and this, you know, there's there's so many, we've had so many guests on that, that tell us why Purdue is special to them and why it's like this Boilermaker spirit and, you know, all the athletics coaches like tweet at each other and attend the games. Like you don't see that everywhere, right? No, it's not. It's no, a, I tell you, it is, um, again, a vast, endless um we that joke where it's like the Illuminati. Yeah, we joke it's the Illuminati. Like we run like, the world yeah. silently. <laughs> and modestly and humbly. Yes. Yes. You know, in, in Chicago is... alone, there's about 67,000 alumni. And mm-hmm. you wouldn't even you wouldn't even know, know it. it. You know, yeah. they, they wear their peas, you know, the, they wear their alumni yeah. Um, yeah, I would say when I travel, when we travel, we'll wear our Purdue gear. I mean, this is Purdue Hello Kitty. She travels all around the world. And it's so funny because it's a, it's a conversation starter. It is. Um, and so, you, you know, you wear the P and you'll get either a friendly, mm-hmm. you know, boiler up, uh, hammer down, or at least go Purdue. Yeah. And I haven't seen really, I mean, I didn't go to Ohio State, so I don't know what they say, I.O. <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But at least every country I've been, you know, Singapore, Japan, Switzerland, um, Brazil, yeah. you're wearing a P, you'll hear. And you can boiler. never under, underestimate a Purdue grad. You know, they could look like anything and anyone and you know like I've met leaders of corporations at a game watch you know I've met um you know amazing people who do amazing work all over the world and they won't they won't you have to dig it out of them really you know and because they don't want to brag but when they do I definitely brag for them yeah we could be their agent (laughs) yeah I um Tiffany Grimes was just talking about how like the humbleness and that just the down to earth yes. spirit yes. and ethos that we have as boilermakers. Yes, yes. Do you guys speak to a lot of prospective students throughout your volunteer work? Like, yeah, we, what kind of things do you tell them? You know, based on your Purdue experience and your love of Purdue. 
Yeah, so every year at each of the clubs in Chicago and Northern Suburbs Club would do a student send-off. So for sure that's one spot where we meet incoming students. And so we actually bring in either fellow students, um, alumni, and we do talk a little bit about ourselves and the board as well. And uh, yeah, our, our biggest advice is finish. <laughs> Just finish, finish. Yeah. because I, as I said, once you have a Purdue education, um, you know you take yourself that far. You take the steps, but Purdue will help eh, smidge a little bit, you know. So um, yeah, and to be proud, them. you know, if you get selected as an incoming freshman, yeah. especially mm -hmm. now. You yeah. know, I got a text from a friend the other day, and you know his uh, friend's um, kids got on a wait list. He was like, and they got like a 4.9 GPA, yeah. and he was joking like, when did Purdue become an Ivy League? And like I'm like, was when was it not? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. Um, what what advice would you give today's Purdue student? Well, besides finishing, make good friendships, make good relationships, connections, and genuine ones. You don't have to have a lot. But when they're genuine and, and, you know, again, is real, you know, those connections will go far into your lives. I, you know, we just had a, our flight here was flown by our friend who is a captain of United. Oh we met him at a freshman mixer at Do Wiley Hall. 20 plus years. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we told him we're flying to, to Fort Myers for Naples. And he was able to fly us down. Surprises. Surprises. Oh, that's give it, like, we were in boarding group like VIP because no one else was on the on the plane. Yes. Phil de Costanza. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he my was thanks, awesome. Phil. Yes. And he was just he took he we got into the cockpit. Spice and I got into like the first officer, you know, <laughs> like pulling Position. the yoke. <laughs> like you don't want us just, flying. But. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. And another, you know, for pers or for students is meet alumni. If we knew people like us as freshmen, I think it'll jettison, you know, your student life career, yeah. your um, your career career, yeah. your, you know. The velocity is just a little bit, the rate's a little faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So meet alumni, don't be, you'll, yes, you have to focus on whatever, your school, your friends, your whatever else you're doing, but if you can meet alumni, you know, it, it just opens a lot of more doors for you. Yeah. And they're happy to help. Oh, for sure. Do you guys have any favorite Purdue traditions? <laughs> we were talking about that. We had, we love Mad Mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> so we always go to Mad yes. Mushroom. Yes. Yes. <laughs> when we're on campus, if you uh, if you stop by Mad Mushroom, we may be there. Yeah, we may be there. <laughs> yeah, you know, we, we we were in the era where you could actually run through the fountain without the safety column. Okay. So yes, that was something that uh, I know Ken definitely did. I just put a toe in. That was <laughs> enough for me. But um, but we were talking about we actually our own tradition. So Sundays, you know, they don't feed you at the residence right. hall. So we would actually there's a restaurant. I don't think it's there anymore, but it was across from um, Mackey. Mackey. It was called Tasty's. So Sundays would be our tasty run. It was just like <laughs> Chinese buffet, and we would literally all our friends would every like, Sunday. All our friends. That was our yeah. That was I guess our tradition. Yeah, oh, that's we joke. Fun. We joke. You know, because we studied. Uh, we were always studying with chemical engineering, right? Like we didn't do much except study, and so we party so much more now. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. College. Yeah, we didn't do like we had a club. lot. We didn't. Yeah, go we to did. Harry's. Yeah, we were like you know we didn't go to many games. We went to one football game our freshman year. It wasn't until our senior year, second semester, when we already had job offers lined up. When we're like, <laughs> okay, this is what a game, you know, a little basketball bit. game is, yeah. and all this stuff, and so and, and go to Jake's and go to you know all these places. Um, Piano Man was so fun, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but it wasn't until. Then we got to experience it, and now actually, you know, because yeah, yeah. I think we went to uh, Breakfast Club for the first time in our thirties, <laughs> and we love how costumes. Was that so it was, it was amazing because awesome. I love Halloween. <laughs> We're all, we don't we don't we really love drink alcohol, theme, so. so we just I just <laughs> observed. But yeah, there's no great. there was like I think was, like a group came yeah, in as a like Chinese a dragon. Chinese dragon. It was fantastic. You know, what did you guys go as? Let's see. We were the three musketeers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. and one I was our friends. Yeah. Too. Yeah. <laughs> There's only two of us, but one of our <laughs> friends is musketeer. 
<laughs> Did you have any favorite professors or mentors that you know you have really impacted you? Absolutely, actually, and he went to uh, Ken at my wedding. Uh, he is in Hawaii. He and his wife, uh, Neil House, Professor Neil House. He was actually uh, um, very chemi- in- yeah, chemical chemi- engineer. Three seventy seven, three seventy eight. So that was heat and mass transfer fluid and dynamics. fluid dynamics. And yes. he was a really great teacher. And you know, what and it was practical. So he was able to actually not just teach the theory. Um, and his his exams were hard. I mean, I think the average, like the high was at 11 or something <laughs> oh like that out of 100. But what he did was he made us think, you know, you can get multiple answers, but does that answer make sense? Like if you build a 300-foot distillation column, is that really practical? Probably not. So those are kind of realistic things. So tied into our co-op. So he was actually also mm-hmm. the program um, uh, head. And so tying back in what we learned at school to the real world at work was integral so he he and he was funny because it was 7 30 oh 7 30 every monday wednesday friday and we were in the front row he knew everyone and he knew you were late (laughs) and the the one time he was actually late was because his granddaughter was born he comes in his hair is like all messed up you know (laughs) what are you doing here professor (laughs) He looks so tired. He's like, Mike, I, I, think he, just, I think he was speaking in a different language. Dutch. <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> We're like, okay. Okay. Like, go back to bed. <laughs> get some sleep. So did you guys have any favorite study spots? It sounds like you worked yes, very hard yes. and, and had to study a lot. Yeah, the, the newest okay. building was the Vet Med Library. Okay. So that's actually where we study because the those stacks are a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> and now in the in chemical engineering, it's a beautiful, a beautiful study um, rooms yeah. and little conference rooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did not have that, so uh, we went to the vet med library. What role has Purdue played in your life? Oh my gosh! Oh. So you know, it's funny because when um, I'll get text messages or notes, or emails from people, and it's either going to be Hello Kitty, <laughs> Disney, or Purdue. And it's kind of funny how that's actually, those three things are the things I kind of love. And I wear, you know, we're shadow boxes. We literally, you get you get what you see. And so Purdue is me, I am Purdue. So, you know, when, when I even read this cup, like, this is Purdue, I was like, that song from um, The Greatest Show, it's like, this is me. This is me, I am Purdue. Yeah. And um, Purdue, like, personally really saved my life, you know, uh, I went through a very, very painful divorce about 10 years ago. And, you know, it was getting involved with the clubs helped me find who I am, you know, who I was, that I'd lost, you know, through that whole thing. And so, you know, it grounds me. It It's also six degrees of separation. You know, if you can do a whole like um like why are you doing this and why do you know these people and they may be totally random and right. then you just trace it all back to purdue yeah. it really yeah. is yeah we I do mean, trace it back to purdue. It's, it's a lot yeah, and it, it. it's become not just home but also like the cheers bars yeah. everybody knows your name and if not like by one degree at least maybe six degrees yeah we're and sitting there and like sure 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 <laughs> It's like, when, hey. when I told my husband about that question around um, my earliest memory, and it was that sugar and spice at the engineering mall, and he was like, oh, "That's kind of foreshadowing because we'll walk down the engineering mall and be like sugar and spice." I'm like, yeah, yes. I mean, even at these know. at these weekends, it's yes, yes, everyone everyone knows and loves sugar and spice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what did that having like that Purdue community mean to you? You know, during that that time in your life. It meant quite a lot. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it's um, every uh, so for at the Purdue Women's um, Conference. One of the fir- it was the first, first Purdue one. Women's Conference. We In had Chicago. we had a um, keynote speaker mm-hmm. named Marlon Marlon, mm-hmm. and um, she she owns a um, engineering. Oh, uh, sorry, a consulting consul- firm. consulting firm in the northern suburbs of Chicago, and she had mentioned, you know. They're one of the the best, the reason for her success, actually, probably 99 to 100% of the reason of her success, 
is her husband. She picked the right person, you know? And then she said, she said, and if you didn't pick the right person, you can pick again. You could choose again. If you didn't choose the right person, choose again. And I was like, even now, I was like, oh my God. Like I got so emotional and yeah. started crying. Cause I, I was like, I wasn't giving myself right. permission, permission to choose again. Yeah. And you know, it took a Purdue alum to, to do that for me. I love that women's conference. I got to go for the first time in June. I saw you guys there. Yeah. But Kendra, Bragan Ferguson, I mean, there's all these women there that just, they're, they're keynote speakers. I mean, they're Yeah, incredible. they're shining examples mm-hmm. of what Purdue women are, what Purdue alumni are. And, yeah. you know, there's, there's so many of us who are out there. Yeah, and it is Purdue strong, and we're strong for ourselves and strong for each other. What was it like being in chemical engineering as women? So it was a, what, 50, no, it was about almost 50, 50, maybe 40, 60 at that time. At that time. Um, 40% women, 60% men. Um, you know, this was in 1994 through 1999. And I, I joke, somebody asked me, why did you pick engineering and why did you pick Purdue? And I said, because I, I have the odds. Because <laughs> I, I have the odds, like I can pick more than 60%. <laughs> Or 100%, whatever, <laughs> but still, um, and uh, as a partner, because it, it's mm-hmm. really, really important to, again, choose the right you partner. choose as a right partner, yeah. and it's, what's nice is we are built-in partners, Yeah, uh, and, and mm-hmm. glad we love each other and like each other. Yeah. yeah, and what we found, actually, with the Kemi group was there were a ton of smart women. Yes. And a ton of smart men. Yes. And we had to work together. Like, if you saw our different groups oh, and yes. group studies, it was always mixed. It wasn't like just one group of women together, you know, working sure. together, studying together, one group of guys working together. It was always a mixed yeah. bag of, you know, and sometimes other groups would, yeah, would uh, work together. <laughs> and I heard like, we're the worst, because like if we have a problem and we come out with different um, solutions, we get so mad at each other, because we're like, no, this is the right way. You're trying to explain it to each other, how you It's like, what assumption that. did you use? Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 ah, that was it. It's like, you missed the negative sign, like, what the heck, you know? So, yeah. That's amazing. What does persistence mean to you both? You, you know, I, I thought a little bit about this, um, you know, and, and there is that, def- the, this book definition you know it is pulling through it's stepping every step you know I I think about persistence as people sugar is one of them grit and resilience and uh, you know sugar and I we do choose happiness and we do choose to actually light happiness too and it's not like we had it easy Um, so persistence Making sure we, you know, studied hard, got the grades, um, did our best, and, and do what we say and say yes, what we do. Be like, consistent, you know, consistency, showing up, and per, you know, and doing well, and doing things right, yeah. and whether you know, whether or not anyone's watching you, yes. and um, you well, know. As I said, like you know, I say sugar is persistence because um, stubborn. You know, besides <laughs> besides getting through a very painful divorce, which you know it was devastating for her and also devastating for us. She's the strongest person I know. Um, she's been, you know, she walked away from a could have been, should have been a fatal car accident. She was hit uh, from behind um, by a semi truck going actually from Cincinnati to Purdue. And you know how flat it is, but where she actually got into accident was the like the only place that actually had a, had a hill, like a ravine in Shelbyville or somewhere yeah. near Shelbyville. And yeah. so, um, coming out of that, and and you know, literally having to like relearn how to drive, something as easy as that, you would think, take for granted. Um, so but, you I know the Purdue professors helped with that, yeah. you know, and. Purdue. Um, you were supposed to fly out for your co-op the next yeah. day. She's like, I don't need to go to, to the emergency <laughs> room. I got a flight to catch. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and you walked away from oh, that. Yeah. I walked away I walked from that accident. From it, and and I know? kind of felt sick the second that she was in that accident. And I was at Purdue. 
and she calls me and she's like, I got hit. I'm in a ditch. And I'm like, wait. I ran over to Ken's apartment. I'm like, Ken, she got a text and she's in a ditch. He's like, did she call 911? Yeah, she's like, did you call 911? And I was like, oh, oh hold yeah. on. <laughs> That, that's your first call. That's your first twin. Call was like not even nine one one. Yeah, but I, I, you know, they, I'm sure a lot of people ask about the twinning thing, and that was definitely one that I. Remember, yeah, that you felt that. That I felt physically ill. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. What is it like being twins? <laughs> you know, it, it is. It's like a built-in um, partner, uh, womb mate, kind of partner in crime. But um, you know, I never felt alone. You know, like, yeah. Um, and yeah you just yeah you never feel alone yeah when but it's funny we do get into fights so the thing is <laughs> we've learned to let a lot of stuff go like it, i mean even our friends were like well, did you just fight about something and like, then we're like done we're like, i don't know yeah, i don't either, even remember either if we're hungry thirsty <laughs> have to yeah. go to the bathroom <laughs> like, that's, that's it, it. Like, that's it that's really mostly the stress hot level. hot hot I yeah heat being hot yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, we always stop. We're like, wait, are you hungry, sugar? Yeah. It's like, okay, let's get some. Okay. <laughs> are you thirsty? Yeah, you yeah. must be thirsty. It's like, drink some water. It's like, it's like you're not, you know, you're feeling. It's like the Snickers commercial. Yeah, yeah. You're like, you might want a Snickers. That's amazing. You're like, I know you better than you know yourself. Yeah. Well, where, how close do you guys live now? So Ken and I live in Gurney, okay. northern suburbs, and I live in River North in Chicago. Okay, so it's nice. about an hour yeah. away. Okay. And, but away. people think we are always um, together. Together, yeah. But you know, it's we make the most of it when we are together. Like she'll come down for the events that we have in the city and 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 things, and yeah. we'll make a weekend of it. Like usually three, four things. Yeah. And then, and we have lived apart. Uh, you know, after graduation, Ken and I actually and moved to New York. Too. Yeah, and co-oping yeah. as well. So. You know, we had time separate, separated. Yeah. And, they were in um, New York and I was in Chicago. Yeah. And the worst was saying goodbye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that every, is the worst. Every, you know, weekend they would have to leave or I would have to leave. It was yeah. just like, oh, Heart man. Breaking the and worst. Like, we'll see you next and time. And then we realized, like, you know, I think it's better. We're just better together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's like PB and J. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> you know, sugar does not work. But we do like, have our space. Yeah, so yes. we do. We do. But yeah. <laughs> who do you think of when you think of Purdue? Is there any person? Yes, it actually. Uh, you know, we were talking about him actually on our way here to, because he, he is was. one of the reasons why we're so involved, and also here at uh, President's Council. His name is George Shanazarian, and. Uh, I met him, we were colleagues at Motorola, and if I remember the first day and I was walking around meeting people and I saw his his office and had all this Purdue stuff, I'm like, yes, we're gonna get, we're gonna get along real well. And he is the kindest, you know, he was the kindest uh, man and, you know, he all would always invite us yeah. to so many different Persistent. things. Persistent. Persistent, like we, sometimes we'd be like, I don't think we can go, George. <laughs> like, I don't think we can go. And the ones that he, we would be able to go to, like at this volleyball yeah. Um, game. Oh, yeah. Never been to a volleyball game. He was Women's like, you volleyball. have to come. We went. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, Naples weekend. It was like, you you have to come. Yeah. And so we year. learned that from him, too, though. It's like, we just invite. And yes. we're, you know, and it's like, if you can come, you can come. If you yeah. can't, that's fine, too. Yes. But, you know, yeah. especially to a lot of the Purdue events. Yeah. Because and, the, and the Northern Club, he was a, a big supporter. So we actually have a golf outing. Yeah, named in honor of him. It was actually before he passed, but we actually, um, you know, his family comes and we have George Shanazarian golf outing for the Northern Suburbs uh, every year. That's great. Um, looking back, what what would you tell your 20-year-old self if you had to reflect? That's a good question. I didn't put this. Yeah, no, that's I, a really good question. <laughs> You know, in, in our 20s, if I think about, you know, our heads were down, we were studying all the time, and as we said, like, we we didn't really, you know, do a lot around the campus when we were at campus. So I think my advice would be, the advice we're giving other students is get out there, talk to alumni. I mean, I think that was the one thing, like, if had we gotten a chance to meet more alumni and go to at some of those events, maybe that would even be, again, tra our trajectory too. is... Not necessarily different, but it could be something that would be um, good advice that I would give myself in my 20s. 
Yeah, and the Purdue family is always there for you. Yeah. And so, you know, everything will be okay. Yeah. Everything yeah. will be okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, that, yeah, those years, I, that's a good yeah. way to put it. Yeah. And, you get your boiler, uh, and you get your Boilermaker ball outfits ready. <laughs> Every year. Yes. Okay, so. <laughs> In the future. <laughs> I've heard that you guys always dress to fit the theme. We love a theme. We love a theme. <laughs> we love a, theme. <laughs> because a, theme we love a party, market. throwing a party, going party to parties. Party with a purpose is our hashtag, uh, <laughs> yeah. too. So what are some of your most memorable stories of, you know, the, you know, this Naples yeah. dinner or the Boilermaker Ball. The outfits and everything. Well, Rio, our, our buddy Jimmy Rio, oh, yes. came, uh, the one theme was um, our uh, 40th birthday Derby. Party. Oh, no, it was yeah, Derby. Yeah, Derby. And he came in as a horse. <laughs> like, he literally <laughs> was, like, in a horse and walking around. I was yeah. like, wow. Well, hey, there you go. That's, I mean, <laughs> Spice was in, like, My Fair Lady, you know, yes, elegant, yes, whatever, that's... you know. And then Jimmy I had, like, a big hat, and she's just like, it's like, bet on me. <laughs> I'm a sure bet. <laughs> like, like the butt of the horse. Yeah, but I mean, yes. like the back of the horse and the front of the horse. Like, it was just, I was like, wow, you can't beat that. We're like, all right, Rio, you got us. You we got can us. see. We can see. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> um, is there anything I missed? I don't know. Like, what, um... What was the thing that we were... Oh, yeah. It's important to share. So if you, if you ever see us on campus, wherever you are, don't be afraid to come up to us. Even one of us. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, say hi, take a selfie, you know, ask us any questions. Um, we're happy to talk. We're happy to, like, yes. you know, um, like Tyler Trent says, everyone has a story. Yes. And you just have to listen. And so... Yes. You know, we're good listeners, too. You know, we like to talk. We have a lot of stories ourselves. <laughs> but, you know, so do so does everyone. So does everyone, yes. It's yes. been fun reliving Purdue through, through your eyes. <laughs> oh, we yeah, have and, a and, lot and of four stories. Eyes. <laughs> yeah. So it's, yeah. it's a lot. We were tame. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> We got stuck in an elevator. Yes. <laughs> After watching Speed, at, yeah. uh, you know they had free free movies. Okay. And of course the one, the one movie the the I don't know if you watch Speed, but the the beginning the of the movie is them stuck in that elevator, and we end up at um, it's not there anymore. Young's grad yeah, house. Young's grad house. Yeah, and we, we end took up the elevator. Stuck in the elevator. Oh, for how long? And for a while. That hours. Was an hour. Like what? the like the, the fire yeah. firemen the had to pull us out. Like, like we, yeah, it was like it was Ken, Todd, <laughs> yeah. Eric. And yeah, Eric. Oh, yeah, and we're just sitting there like. This is speed. It's like, please don't kill the hostage. <laughs> please we're don't like, kill the like, hostage. We're like, what? I mean, like, no, it literally was like the elevator doors open and we see just feet. And we're like, oh, man, this is a movie. Like, where's the camera? Is that <laughs> night? <laughs> like, it was hilarious. Yes. And they pulled you out. They pulled us out. They had to pull us out. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was the only way to get out. So, <laughs> We're going to do <laughs> so many stories. So many stories. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. Yes. And, yeah, I mean, we definitely love Purdue. Hopefully people see that. We love people who are Purdue. And if you're not Purdue, you know, if you're friends okay too, if Purdue, you're, we, I, my joke is we take hitchhikers and orphans. <laughs> like, well, if you love Purdue, we love you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I always have a camera on my, I'm, I'm nicknamed even Spicerazzi. Uh, I'll be probably doing a TBS, you know, <laughs> um, real as well. Real. Yes, exactly. Um, and I am the historian, I guess. I'm the family historian, too, because uh, I love taking memories yeah. and, and shots of memories. Because at the end of our lives, really, what do we have is how we made people feel. And sometimes going back and looking at pictures and videos and movies, and, and maybe we'll see <laughs> this one day. Yeah. And, and say how much we had such a good time with you today. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to share with our listeners? Well, it's our birth month. So <laughs> we're, celebrating all, we're celebrating all month. All month. <laughs> I bet you all throw a great party for your birthday. We, we've had some good parties. We've had, uh, we had our, I would say the 40th. Yeah. Um, we're Adler um, Planetarium on the development board. We were on the women's board at the time. and. And we literally put together this birthday party in two, two weeks. weeks yeah. Invited probably three hundred people. Oh. 
at the Adler Blind And the Dune. theme was May the 40th, May the 40th be with you. With you. <laughs> and everyone had to come in with Star, Star Wars. Wars. And it was great. Yeah. Like, Ken was... And I was BB-8. Yeah, I was a huge R2-D2. R2-D2. Our, cake, our cake was this huge R2-D2 and this little itty-bitty BB-8. Yeah. And I say Jimmy came yeah, as Chewbacca. Yeah, Rio came as Chewbacca. With the, like, the sound pack. Yeah. Oh and everything, God. and one of our friends came in as the the opening credits. Yeah, under dress. the back page. Yeah. yeah, she literally <laughs> yeah. like. I was like that. Our cousin came in and she was Queen of Madala. Yeah. I mean, oh it was. Yeah, can you imagine like the uh, Ewoks the, came like yeah. our friends the, the Uber Caribbean. rides at the time. Yeah, <laughs> like full cost. Well, Rio was like, like, I was late because at the hotel I kept getting stopped. He, to get he took a jiffy bike <laughs> as <a> Chewbacca <laughs> to our party. <laughs> So how do you even know 300 people? This is incredible. <laughs> uh, you Again, know, I guess. The power of the producer Network. Game. There's two of us. Yeah, so some people us. actually, I don't even know, and she doesn't know. That's yeah, true. And it is kind of funny. It's, even at the airport, somebody would be like, Geo or Sugar, and I'd literally look at them blankly. Like, I don't know. I'm like, oh, you think you I'm my sister. Uh-huh. And, and, and the, the, the face of relief. Like, oh, thank God. Like, what did I do? I'm like, no, no, I just don't know you. You know, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm the other one. Yeah, so, so yes. But, um, yeah. 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 We love, like, I think our latest Purdue party was the at the Cubs um, Wrigleyville when Northwestern yes. When Purdue played Northwestern, oh, yes, and yes. we had it at um, this. Uh, they had a pop up shop with all the Santa holiday. Baby bar, yeah. so okay. it was all pop up with with uh, Santa, you know, like yes. Christmas. Um, so we invited decoration. all of the Purdue um, alumni, you know, presidents, council, people we knew, friends who JPC. didn't even go to Purdue. Yeah. Um, actually, I was, I was gonna say one of the best memories we had as an alumni with non-alumni was at the Michigan State football game last year. Oh yeah. Where we- Half um, of us had never been a Purdue football game. Never been. Half of us. You know, uh, they were had. either private school or you know, Different non, school. non-Big Ten. So they didn't have the same like football experience. And when we stormed the field, they're like, is this gonna be safe? We're like, don't worry, like, it'll be fine. Like, it'll be am fine. I gonna be safe going storming the field? We're like, it's Purdue. It's She's Purdue. like, yeah, it was like orderly fashion storming of the field. <laughs> We're yeah. so impressed. We're and, like, and wow. We, and now we can't take it anymore because we're like, I think that was, that was the peak. Like, that was the that peak. Was yeah, that was I a can't great guarantee, game to go. I can't guarantee like, a storm <laughs> of the field anymore, but you never know. We look forward to that. That would be great. Fun. That's fun. Well, we can't thank you enough for joining us. It was so fun. Thank you. And um, we love your Purdue spirit. Thank you. <laughs> we love Purdue. We, we get to hang out with you, too. Sometime <laughs> to get Absolutely. sugar and spice style. There you yes. go. Anytime you're in Chicago, let us know. Okay. For sure. For sure. We'll I'm take there. you out sugar and spice style. I, I am so there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs>